So let's not talk about specifics here. Last time when we spoke to you, you were of the view that one should look at FMCG or consumer staples, pharma selectively and IT specifically. That was a view which was, let's say, in and around the election outcome. Post that, has your view changed given that there is policy continuity and there is more clarity as to where the government uh, work will move in next five years? So, Nikunj, why we still believe FMCG should outperform the market in the days to come. Election has resulted into money in pockets of consumers. The budget should boost rural and mass market product. There should be more money in the pockets of consumers through either increase in standard deduction limits as mentioned in newspaper today or through some cut in taxes as expected. Overall, we believe with monsoon budget and election, there should be more money in the pockets of consumers and FMCG should do well. Within FMCG sector, focus on companies which are innovative in terms of launching product or they are able to cover new distribute or they are able to cover more villages through expanded distribution channel. Uh, in terms of pharma, we still remain selective on a portfolio basis. We think there are medical shortages in US and there will be pressure on distribution companies to pay slightly higher prices and secure supply. Uh, US FTA action also probably will be driven by the fact that they are facing some medical shortages and they would like to restock the supply. Both these things will be positive for FMCG and pharma company. On IT, we want to wait and watch. Last time also I said we need to see if the appointment letters which they have issued is getting converted into real appointment in the office campus or not. As of today, it is still not visible. Valuations have factored in many uncertainty, but we need some catalyst from a growth point of view. Chemical sector is also poised like IT. We have to wait and watch because Chinese dumping still remains relentless. It does impact profitability and margin of Indian companies. They have large capacity which remains unutilized. At some point of time, Chinese dumping should come to an end. Indian companies also will become more cost competitive by improving processes or cutting expenditures. And over a period of time between IT and chemical, we will get good entry point. So both those sectors are right now under wait and watch. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET now.